Marina Segura and Concha Maroto welcome you to this video about blending problems. In particular, we will focus on a case study about cider production. When you finish the work we propose in this video, you will be able to identify blending problems and build linear programming models for solving them. Especially, you will know how to define the variables and express the objective function and constraints. After presenting the problem, you will build the model with our help and advice. That is, define the variables and write the functions for the objective and constraints. Finally, we will comment on other real blending applications. Many blending problems can be solved by building linear programming models. Cider production is an example. The apple varieties used to make cider can be classified as sweet, sour and bitter. From a blend of apples varieties, the company makes several products, such as natural cider and also extra and black label, among others. Could you explain how the cider is made? In short, the production process has several phases. Pressing, maturation, fermentation, clarification, stabilization, bottling and labeling. The process yield is high and produces 0.8 liters cider per kilo of apples. The company is planning to produce 40,000 liters of natural cider and 10,000 liters of extra cider for the next season. The characteristics of cider depend on the apple varieties used. Important features of cider are decrease of alcohol, acidity and sugars. This table shows the price and the characteristics of the apple varieties, as well as specification of the cider products. The degree of acidity of the cider must be within the range shown in the table, as must the sugars in the case of extra cider. One important question to be answered in all decision-making problems is the following. What is the objective of the company? In this case, the objective is to minimize production cost. How many kilograms of apples of each variety should the company buy to produce 40,000 liters of natural cider and 10,000 liters of extra cider? Have you understood this decision-making problem? Which are the alternatives of the company? What can they decide? What the company can decide is the variables of the model, which are the unknowns. Pause the video now and propose the variables with a clear definition. Then continue. The company can decide how many kilograms apples to buy of each variety and their allocation to each cider type. For example, Fig1N is kilograms of apples of variety 1 needed to produce natural cider. Fig1E is kilograms of apples of variety 1 needed to produce extra cider. In short, VIJ are kilograms of apples of variety I needed to produce cider of type J. These variables are non-negative. Do you know why it is necessary that the variables in a linear programming model have to be non-negative? Remember the simplest algorithm and try to answer this question. The objective function is to minimize the cost of apples need to produce cider. Therefore, we multiply the cost of each variety by the quantity of apples to be bought in kilograms. 
the values of the variables depend on the restrictions of the problem, such as product specifications. For example, which will be the constraint to ensure that the degrees of alcohol of the natural cider will be seven? Pause the video and write your proposal. Let's see how to formulate this constraint. The apple variety one allows producing cider with 8% alcohol. 6.5 and 4.2 are the values for the other varieties. If you multiply these percentages by the corresponding variables and make the expression equal to 7, you make a mistake. Which one? The mistake consists in which the units of the left hand side are not the same as the right hand side of the equation. The percentages don't have a unit. So, left hand side is expressed in kilograms and there are no units in the right hand side. In addition, the process yield has to be taken into account because the company produced 0.8 liters of cider by kilo of apples. As there are kilograms in the numerator and the denominator, this constraint has liters in the left hand side and no units in the right hand side. The percentage of alcohol of cider will be the weighted average of the alcohol which the three apple varieties allow obtaining. The weight is the proportion of cider from each variety. Therefore, left hand side has to be divided by the total quantity of natural cider to be produced that is 40,000 liters. Note that this is the same as multiplying 7 by this number. Now we have a constraint which is homogeneous in units because both sides of the equation are expressed in liters. In modeling, one of the most frequent mistakes is to write constraints which, is, which uh, are not homogeneous in units. Thus, be careful at this point. We recommend to think about the constraining words first and then write the mathematical expression and check the units in both sides of the equation. In the same way, we build the constraint for the degrees of alcohol of extra cider as well as the constraint for volatile acidity, whose value should be in an interval with a minimum and maximum. In this case, two constraints are needed. Here you can see the constraints for total acidity. In addition, it is necessary to include a constraint indicating the quantity of natural cider to produce in the next season, as well as to complete the problem with the constraints related to extra cider. Finally, this model is an example to solve a blending problem. This problem is to find the best blend of raw materials to make a set of products which meet some specification. The variables are the quantities of raw materials needed to make each product. If the characteristics of the product are proportional to those of the raw materials, we can optimize cost or other objective by formulating linear programming models. Blending problems have many applications, such as diet problems in human nutrition, animal feed, steel, and fertilizer industries. We hope you enjoy modeling.